Now, there are 30 million people a year that are touched by the legal system in the United States. Why can't we give these tracts and pass out Bibles to everybody going to the courthouse? If they get right with God, their legal problems will start taking care of themselves. We formed a group in 2007, and we started praying about this ministry. Everybody needs prayer, especially when they're at their weakest moment, which is going into the courthouse to deal with a legal issue. I've seen a lot of scared people. They want prayer uh, because of something they're facing. The fact of the matter is that uh, a lot of people need prayer in this hour. We as a whole, as a nation, need prayer. We, we have, you know, as you know, gone off the track. This ministry has never happened. We've left the courthouse to Satan. And look what's happened. This is truly the 21st century unreached people group. I'm going through a divorce, unfortunately. And I went into the courthouse to schedule our mediation and saw the booth. Jim Singleton prayed for me. And at that time, I felt as though I didn't even have a friend in the world. His prayer touched me, and it turned me to the Lord, and it, and it really um, just did wonderful things in my life. We want people to know that, that what they're going through is important, and we care about them. We have gotten a number of decisions for Jesus uh, out in front of the table, and uh, that has really changed uh, their lives. We uh, offer them Christian literature, books that will help people walk with the Lord in their daily life. There's different uh, booklets uh, depending on what you might be going through. A person can easily just look at the table and figure out what is most relevant to them. They leave armed with the Word of God. What's more powerful than that? Not only do we pray for people in the courthouse, we will ask them to sign a card so that we can do follow-up. We have volunteers who write letters, send emails, call on the phone, and uh, seek to follow up what's going on with people and find out how they're doing and to pray with them. When people who go into the courthouse for all the difficulties that they're in get a call from somebody uh, from Courtside Ministries, they can't believe it. They can't believe that somebody from the court system actually would call them not asking them why they haven't paid their fine, not telling them that they violated probation, not trying to collect money from them, but caring about them spiritually. We also refer them to churches, and then we call the churches and we ask them to invite people to go in. We even had an attorney come out of the uh, court. He gave a, a, a sizable donation and said, hey, we're glad to have you here and I can see changes. This is a practical, ministry evangelism opportunity to uh, interact and engage with some hurting people. We have referred in two years over 1,500 people to local churches. We've prayed for pe over 6,000 people. Our purpose is to bring these desperate people going to the courthouse to Christ. People come to the table without hope. Uh, they come hopeless and sad and they leave with hope they leave with joy and they leave armed with information. And sometimes they'll come out and tell us just, you know, how much it meant to them to have that, to, to know that, that God was with them during that time. I have seen people come by and say, we see you every week here and we're so blessed and we're so glad you're here and we feel so safe that you're here. I hear that every time I go, every time. We have seen people that are going into the courthouse in desperation as a result of addiction, mental health issues, criminal behavior, and other such things. And Courtside Ministries is there to bring the hope of Jesus Christ to these people.